So today on Project Shop, I'm on my way to Tampa, or not exactly Tampa, but right outside of Tampa. Pick up um, a bunch of parking lot lights. Apparently they got them all on the ground. They're finishing up today. Hopefully no one stole them overnight. So this is a three hour trip, about a half hour more than that last load of uh, lights I got from my other customer. Now this isn't gonna be as much but this is a customer that gives me uh, a lot of lights for free. Sometimes I buy them and I do some other work for them. So, you know, you got to kind of keep these guys happy. And hopefully we'll get some transformers. I'm not sure the style of fixture. I'm praying for 1,000 watt transformers. He said they're parking lot lights, so they're either going to be 400s or 1,000s. We're about an hour into the trip. We're in the middle of nowhere. Um, I think we're approaching like Okeechobee, Florida. This is uh, right around where the church is that I go to. The Flying Wheels Motorcycle Club. <laughs> they turned a gas station, an old convenience store, into a uh, motorcycle club. Be a man, buy land. Yeah, I'd like to have some land out here. It's actually really nice. They have some big properties. Look at that. Imagine all the scrap I could put on that. <laughs> anyway, we got a long ways to go. We'll hit a time lapse here and then uh, see what we get when we get there. Hopefully, no one's pillaged any of the uh, product and this trip is worthwhile. Hey, look, cows. I gotta get me some cows, man. country living oh and I'm trying a different setting on the GoPro so I don't know how it's gonna turn out I'm just gonna try them all or I should make a bunch of test videos but uh, the settings are not the same they've like standardized it like it, it's really weird so I think I don't. I, I got it off the fisheye. People were complaining about the fisheye look. So hopefully this is a better setting, but time will tell. Okay, I just had to make a little detour. I bought two brand new tires as I was driving. I started getting a vibration in the front of the truck and it was getting worse as I was driving. And then when I was going real slow, uh, I could feel like some hopping. So these were the two front tires I had on the truck. This tire's good, this one's okay. This one, I don't know if you can tell. She's like bubbled up, man. This thing was hopping around like crazy. 
So this was actually the spare tire for this truck. This was uh, a spare tire I had from my other truck. And my two front tires were bald, basically. But they were still okay. And I, I just had them put two brand new tires on it. So unfortunately, there went a quick 400 and whatever, $411. So now we gotta hustle and double time it to uh, make up for that. I probably could have thrown one of them bald tires back on there, but she needed new tires anyway, it was time. And this place just happened to be right on the, right on the way. Tires, okay tire store. Really nice people. So, we're gonna get back on track. We're running, uh, that probably took about 40 minutes. They were really quick with it. Um, so we're gonna get right back on track. Hopefully no one's stolen the light fix. Oh, much better, smoother. Amazing what a set of tires will do for your truck. <laughs> Okay, we arrived. Oh look, there's a tire shop right here. You gotta go find these guys, see what they're doing. All right, I just seen a guy. He told me they're back on the other side of the building. Hopefully we got some decent stuff. Looks like they changed out all these. Looks like I just scrapped some of them LEDs right there the other day. <laughs> Oh, all I know is there's an ice cream place right there. You know my fat ass is gonna head over there. What do we got here? Dollar Tree? Oh man, it looks like 400 watts. Oh, oh, my legs. Wow, you know what? The crazy thing is, they've already got the ballast out of them. Ah, 400 waters. And a lot of those look like aluminums. So I could have swore this dude told me there was like 30 of them. We'll get a little extruded aluminum. Big old sheet domes. I hope he's got a lot more to take down because uh, this isn't the uh, biggest pickup ever. And uh, there's only 13 ballast here. So I hope he's got more on the truck. Well, I'm going to pull a little closer. I'm going to start loading these up. The only really good news is he's already gutted them. Oh, these have a huge steel plate in them. We'll see. This is a good customer of mine, so, you know, we'll make something out of this, even if it isn't a ton of money. But I get a lot of local business from this guy, so I'm not too worried about 
traveling to go get some of these things sometimes. I mean, especially um, that they've taken them this far apart. There really ain't much for me to do to them. Transformers are ready to go. We can just throw them right in the back of the truck. Man, let's ride over here real quick. They evicted someone from their house. Oh, they got a big old TV. Man, I wonder if that works. Oh, look at this. It's a big old husky tree trimmer. I actually have one of these. Now, I I don't think I've ever been dumpster diving. I mean, I've, I've dove in dumpster before, but I don't think I've ever done it on the channel. Um, I feel like this is someone's like home. Like they just straight up evicted someone and threw all their shit out. I, man, it looks like people be pillaging through this shit. Toshiba! I mean, there's water coming out of it. I don't know if I want to take that. like a nice pair of shoes man look at all this trash oh it's probably a homeless camp back here a lot of foot traffic man there's probably gators down in that thing too that goes pretty far back too uh <laughs> Yeah, the local homeless population probably had a field day here. They opened this thing up, start tearing into people's stuff. I mean, it's kind of sad. Look at this mess, man. You know, if you were homeless, if, if I was homeless, I'd keep it clean, man. I'd be like nature loving homeless dude. Must have been a stripper. Got some stripper heels. This is kind of sad, man. This looks like this was all somebody's home. Or multiple homes. I don't know. Why would this dumpster be behind a Bell's outlet? Maybe this is stuff people donated. I don't know, man. But people picking through this stuff. Body rage. Got some... Uh, Oh look, a coffee maker. Mr. Coffee. I don't think there's gonna be anything in this dumpster. I certainly ain't climbing in there. We here for other things. Yeah, man, look at this, man. Sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. This is someone's home. They had little kids and shit. Looks like another TV. The TVs probably work, man. They probably just threw all that shit in the dumpster. I wonder if I should take that TV and pull some computer boards out of it. I don't know, it seems like a lot of hassle. I kinda wanna walk down this path, but I might run into some disgruntled uh, gator or homeless dude you never know probably a tweaker back there you know we got our uh you know we always stay with the gator repellent um 
down here in South Florida, man, you look at a pond like this, pretty much if there's water, there's gators. Um, so, even where there's, even places where you don't think there'd be a gator, there'd be some gators. Is that a spare tire up there? Man. Okay. Enough dumpster diving for me. We're gonna go back over here and load up some. Uh... Man, if that's cra that's crazy. If there is a homeless population living back there, or someone, whoever did that is an asshole. Like, there's just no need for that mess. Even if you were gonna go through that stuff, man, keep it contained, dude. Why spread it around like it? You know. It's like animal behavior. Okay, I think we got like 22 light fixtures and like 18 ballasts. So the guy confirmed, uh, he said that almost immediately when he was stacking them there, because it took him a couple days to do this, he says every time he would come back, there'd be one or two missing. And uh, tons of ballast, they took most of the ballast. And uh, then he said, he was gone for a week and literally like a whole stack of eight um, came up missing. So they were over here just pillaging this stuff and I knew that was gonna happen. I, I told the contractor, um, as soon as he told me about this job and where it was, I explained to him about, you know, there's gonna probably be people stealing the lights if you leave them, it's literally, I'd say 50% of the time when I've come to get lights, even if they're local, if they leave them on the ground, um, people are going to take them. Actually, I was shocked one time down in Miami and they didn't touch one light, which was shocking in Miami. This, this is like a backcountry town right here. I'm surprised they took that many, but he did verify to me that there's a huge homeless camp back there. And uh, it's literally a straight line right by these lights. They brought them. And unfortunately, like, I'm not, not blaming the guy. The guy was actually really cool. Uh, he put the ballast, like, right there, man, for everybody to see. Um, I would at least put them in one of these empty bins and kept them towards the back. But, you know, his job is just to take the lights down. This isn't his deal. He's not making any money off this. I did buy. He did have to pull some wire so i did buy uh, a little bit of wire from him and there is a kind of, you know a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel here because this company who um is actually one of my original first customers i've had for years okay i just found out they have a tampa office that i didn't even know about and this guy he's pretty much he does all their work so i sat here i bs with him for a little bit I gave him a business card, uh, told him about the YouTube channel, told him to check it out. I gave him a good price on that wire just to kind of let, you know, put some cash in his hand and say, hey man, save this stuff. He does, he says he does have a place he can save some scrap at his house. So hopefully in the future, he'll bring this stuff back to his house. Um, and uh, now that I know they have a Tampa office, um, 
you know, hopefully I'll get some more work from these guys. Um, but this this here, I'm not even mad because I kind of expected this. And, and in the video, you know, earlier in the video, you heard me say, hey, I need to hurry up and get there before they steal my shit. Well, they've been stealing it from day one, apparently. Because he said the first couple days he was here, he noticed one or two fixtures missing. And then when he was gone for a week doing another project, man, they had a field day out here. I'm surprised there was anything left. So anyway, we're going to... Uh, I mean, I got half a mind to run back there in the woods and see if any of my lights are back there, but I don't want to have to shoot anybody. So we're just going to get in the truck and go home, and uh, I'm going to contact the customer and let them know. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing double aluminum transformers everywhere, man. These look like copper, but unfortunately, um, yeah, there's only a few of them. So this isn't going to be like a high profit if profit at all I'm, I'm i might even have to build this dude you know because i warned him right out the get-go that people could be stealing them they didn't do anything to secure them literally you know they almost advertised that their fixtures were sitting there they could at least put caution tape or something around them but when you got you know homeless people running around they don't give a crap you know, they don't make the best life decisions, which is why they're homeless. Um, so, whatever. Maybe maybe they, uh, you know, used it and got a good meal. I, I hope that's what they did with the scrap. Or whoever took it. You know, maybe they needed it more than I did. But what really pisses me off is they stole it. They didn't ask permission. You know, it wasn't theirs. They just saw it and they took it. And I really hate that about people. Like, you should be able to leave whatever and not worry about stealing now what if they were going to use these for something else you know or, or what if they had something here that they they were trying to repurpose and then you know you got people coming by low lives that come and steal shit this is um you know that's the only really negative side i can see about recycling or scrapping because you know scrappers people like me and all you guys that watch and all the other scrapping channels man we we're actually like saving the earth we're doing things to recycle we're recycling you know sometimes i even hate the word scrapper because it comes with such a negative some people look down upon that man we do you know all them people that look down on us we're doing more for the environment than all these smug people driving around in their teslas and these electric cars and whatever um which whatever if you got a tesla whatever man but you know people that look down on someone because of their profession especially when you're helping the earth and you're doing a good thing uh trying to reuse and not just consuming stuff uh that really bothers me but whatever we got some light fixtures we got a little content um a little bit of wire i'll strip all that wire so we're gonna head back and uh we're gonna have a scrapping party man i got tons of scrap at the shop i already got transformers at the shop that need to be processed so i need to find some lunch because i'm starving and then uh we're going to get on the road
buy scrap. Wow. This must be like the only junkyard around, I guess. Okeechobee Airport. Okay. So, we had to make a little pit stop at the taco spot, get some tacos and a horchata. <laughs> Okay, I made it back yesterday uh, with no issues. It's actually really early the next day. Kind of stoked about my uh, thing here. I think I'm missing something. Or whatever might, whatever's supposed to be up here. I don't know. But I have another one of these. Set that to the side for now. Uh, what I need to do is get these processed because i already talked to the dude um that my local west palm beach guy and i told him what happened that someone stole the lights and it probably isn't even going to cover my fuel costs and he says he understands and then asked me how much i'm going to charge for picking them up now i was figuring minimum I was gonna make $400 going to get these. Uh, if not five or six, you know. So I'm gonna see what I get out of this and then uh, we're gonna have to uh, make up the difference with a uh, pickup fee, unfortunately. I hate doing that for my customers. I like being able to go pick the stuff up and not charge them, just get it out of their hair, but I can't be driving across the state burning a bunch of fuel and wear and tear on my truck. I literally had to spend $400 uh, on tires. Now that wasn't just because of this job. It was just, you know, it was time. I'm going to have to go get that truck aligned or something because uh, it's chewing up tires a little faster on the front. Which those trucks are notorious for that. Anyway. I'm going to pull these out and get them set up so I can drill out these rivets. There's a huge steel plate in there. And then um, I'm, these boxes ain't going to weigh nothing, man. That really sucks. I really hate these style fixtures. It's a lot of work. I'm, I'm glad Homeboy went. I mean, I'm not kind of glad because maybe if he would have left the Transformers in there, they wouldn't have stole them all. They literally stole most of the Transformers. But it is what it is. I'm going to pull this out. We're going to get this processed. We're going to get the stuff out of the back of the truck. Uh, sort through that. See what that's worth. And then it'll give me a better idea of, you know, what I'm going to have to bill the dude. I am think I'm going to have to give him a $300 bill. But we'll see.
Okay, so that's all pretty much processed and ready to go. Now I broke it down. We had 316 pounds of old sheet, 107,380, $20 in uh, extruded, and $21 in uh, transformers. I just weighed them all up as iron aluminum because literally probably three quarters of them were iron aluminum. So on the low end, $215. That definitely was not worth driving across the state for. I think I uh, I am gonna bill that dude like 300 bucks. Now there is a little bit of steel that we have over there. And I am gonna process the copper transformers. But I normally, I never factor in steel into any of the light in or my profit or anything like that because if you got to factor in, you know, 20 or $30 worth of steel, whether you're going to make money or not, you know, you're not getting enough money out of the stuff. I'm going to meet with the guy later today. It's like five o'clock in the morning right now. So that took me probably about an hour and a half to move all that, break it down, clean it, pop those lenses out and then restack it. Plus the whole, I'm going to say eight hours. I mean, I was only on that job for about an hour. It literally didn't take me long to load this up, but it was like three and a half hours either way. So right now we're like, let's just say 10 hours into this and I still got to bring this down to Miami. But what I'm going to do now is I have a whole bunch of 1500 watt sport lighters we're going to break down. So stay tuned for that video coming as far. Thanks for watching. So that's going to be it for this video. You know, this is a perfect example. I've said it many times, man. You got to watch people stealing the stuff. And I let this guy know before he, as soon as he told me there was a job in Tampa and if I would go get it, I informed him. I'm like, hey, I'll come get it, but you got to be careful. People will steal those lights if you leave them sitting there. And, uh, you know, that's exactly what happened. It's not the first time it's happened to me. And I'm sure it's not going to be the last. It's just something we deal with. But I'm going to let everybody know from now on going forward. Um, you know, I have to make a certain amount of money on the job to go that far um if not they're gonna have to cover the rest um with like a pickup fee it just is what it is i can't be working for free so we got a couple big jobs local coming up here uh hopefully we'll get some nice transformers out of them but for now that's gonna be it for this video so if you come this far thanks for watching stay tuned because uh man i got tons of scrap and some 1500 watt sport lighters in here we're gonna break down I'll tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard. copper we done side swipe the transformer <laughs> <laughs> 